Obviously, America is a, a car-crazed culture. We love our cars. It's one of those things that we just completely take for granted. We just hop in the car whenever we want. We go wherever we want. Driving an automobile has always been thought to be a visual activity. I used to really love driving. It was one of the things I did not only to get around and to do the things that I needed to do, but it was something I did for recreation. I knew that my, my sight was, was limited and it was getting worse all the time. You know, I finally came to the realization that, you know, you just got to stop driving. We believe in the National Federation of the Blind that we can do it if we just build the interface to make it possible. Today, we are working on the blind drivable car. We call it the National Federation of the Blind Blind Driver Challenge. Now with this project, I'm starting to think of the possibilities of, wow, maybe I will drive again sometime. So we're all looking at this as a, as a project that does have some risk. But the only way you push forward and, and, and truly move something to the next level is by being willing to take those risks. You think about the, the history of flight in this country. I mean, we didn't get a, a, an airplane into the air until 1904, and in 60 years we were landing on the moon. So I look at this project and I say, what will this be in 50 years? To accomplish our goal, the National Federation of the Blind will work in partnership with universities and technology manufacturers to combine our pioneering enterprise with their technical expertise to make the dream of a car drivable by the blind a reality. My name is Dennis Hong. I'm a professor in mechanical engineering and also the director of ROMELA, the Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory at Virginia Tech. One of the key technologies that we develop is called AirPix. You can think of AirPix as a, uh, a computer monitor for the blind. It's like a tablet device. Think of an air hockey table. There's a lot of holes on it. Compressed air comes out, so the user can move his or her hand over it and actually see the environment around the vehicle. Another non-visual user interface technology is called Drive Grip. It's a glove that has vibrating motors on the back of the hand. So depending on how the motors vibrate, it gives information about direction. So we use that for conveying directional information to the user. This is one of the two actual vehicles that will be converting to the next generation blind driver challenge vehicle. The blind drivable car is one of the most exciting opportunities to build new technologies to bring information to the blind that we have ever undertaken. It gives you freedom and it really brings into reality that this could happen someday. So what do you think? I think it's great. I haven't driven in six years and I want to drive again. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs>